Hello Virgo, welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Reading. Thank you so much for joining me Virgo. Today I'll be doing your August 2023 reading. I'll be pulling out three cards for your energy, career, your finances and love of course. So Virgo, let's get started with your reading. Just giving these cards a really good shuffle here and we'll get started. One more. Excellent. I'll be pulling out three cards for your energy and I will be taking this card, taking that as a sign. <laughs> so the first card for your energy we have, we have the four of cups here. So the four of cups, again, it's feeling a little bit bored, feeling a little bit mm, not inspired. The universe is going to present you with this cup, some sort of offer here to start making you feel alive, to start making you feel really excited to Virgo. So excellent, off to a great start. The second card, yeah, we also have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is when you do feel a little bit, uh, you're feeling a little bit stuck in the past too, thinking about the good old times, when things were easier, when we were perhaps even younger too, of course. But again, Virgo, the big energy here is to start having more fun too. I do feel also there may be a friend, someone from your past that may contact you just out of the blue too, to ask you out, to ask you to, to go out and have fun. Last card, also have the Six of Swords here. Moving into calmer waters too, could also mean traveling too, traveling overseas, traveling interstate. But the big energy here is moving away from energy, from situations that no longer serve you because it's just too toxic. It's just, it no longer serves you, Virgo. So again, the overall big energy here is again, starting to have more fun, but also staying away from situations that are not, that, that don't really serve you too, that don't really give you that inspiration, they don't really help you at all. So overall, not bad energy though, Virgo. Let's have a look at your finances too. Sorry, we're gonna start with Korea. With Korea, we do have the nine of swords here. So there may be some fears, there may be some anxiety too in terms of your career. This may be because there may be some changes too, where you're currently working, business perhaps isn't going really well too. Um, there may be people being um, uh, uh, let go too, the company shrinking, making changes too. So it may be causing perhaps a bit of fears too, some nightmares too. Second card, we also have the Four of Swords. Take the time to rest though, Virgo. Even though there may be a bit of stress happening in your workplace, take the time to rest. Because the last thing you want to do also is, is have a burnout and end up in the hospital. We don't want that. So take the time to rest. Let the mind quiet down too, quite a bit too. So you can just um, recharge your batteries. Last card, we also have the Seven of Swords here. On its own, this is the card of lying, stealing, and cheating. But this could also mean you, Virgo, being very strategic too, moving behind the company's back too, perhaps um, starting to look for another job too, leaving perhaps, or starting something different on your own too. Also, Virgo, I would actually keep a low profile at the moment too, don't reveal anything also. Give people vague answers. Don't be very specific too. Yeah, do not be specific. I'm getting that quite a lot. Do not reveal anything at all at this time, especially in August at, at all. Yeah, there is no loss. I don't see loss to be honest, but again, it is keeping you up at night. It is causing quite a bit of stress. Do rest too. But again, I do feel that you may be looking for other work too at the same time. Yeah. For any business owners too, I do feel like you are going back and trying to work out how, can you, how you can improve things. It could even be copying some of your other competitors to see what you can do to survive too, which is not a bad thing. I don't see that as a bad thing at all. But we will get some clarification cards. Let's look at your finances. Finances, we also have judgment too. Make it a judgment call on your finances. This also speeds up the pace. 
it gives you an epiphany you're going to see things clearly now so this could be something simple as using a software to um, budget to do your accounting to so it could be some sort of online program that you want to start using to really be better with your finances excellent second card we also have the tower too this could be a surprise or your shake up too there could be some form of foundation that's not working too but with the tower too you can always rebuild from old foundations too there may be unexpected expenses too that may occur this could be like a parking ticket uh, the washing machine breaking down the car breaking down too just things that are just completely unexpected last card we also have the four of pentacle this is king Midas. so you're keeping your money very close you don't want to lose money too which is good like you don't have it's not like you have the five of pentacles but you're keeping your money very close to your chest you don't want to lose it too which is completely understandable so again my only advice here is definitely like start start saving definitely just in case you know silly things do break down absolutely save up some money just in case so you can avoid any unexpected surprises what about for love let's have a look at love first card so this is you Virgo with the Queen of Pentacles this is someone that's very structured very responsible has a very um, soft touch too very gentle and again for those who are single looking for love yes you are very authentic you don't bring with you don't bring any fakeness or any agenda you are yourself too and that's what you're hoping to you just want someone to accept for who you are absolutely Virgo and for those who are in couples in couples I feel like you're more the nurturer of the relationship you take care of not just yourself but your other uh, your other partner too let's have a look at the second card second card we also have the ten of Pentacles so even though um, for couples because this is relates to money but I am talking about love this is something that you want to commit to long term you want to build a life with this person it's not just like let's go on dates no no no. you're very serious about this person and you want to build something with this person and this could be um, starting a family this could be saving up together towards a house perhaps or a vacation you want to definitely have a strong foundation with this person last card we also have the king of swords here excellent so again i do feel virgo there may be a certain divine male in your life an air sign perhaps or they have air in their charts so i'm talking about aquarius gemini and libra too so this person is this person could be for example a doctor a politician someone in a high position doesn't have a lot of patience too but they are gentle too they are a natural born leader um, they can just lead too. They're very intellectual too. Not so much sometimes the best romantic type, but very intellectual, very scientific too. So engineering, science, anything to do with health, medical, doctors. So again, I feel with the queen of pentacles and the king of swords here, I feel like both of you want to build something together long term could be example like I said like a house if you are single you may be finding a divine male too that's going to come into your life and this person is very serious about you so it does resonate for couples and for people that are single at the moment too so there is some form of long-term a strong foundation here this person is serious about you this per person definitely wants something more serious with you let's get some confirmation cards though let's have a look <clears throat> oh and for those who are new do not forget to subscribe because every week you get two readings so Fipi will be focusing on your love love and romance while I'll be focusing on your career your finances and anything that your spirit team wants you to know thank you again Virgo for supporting this channel greatly appreciate it all right let's get started let's have a look at your extra messages too Excellent. So for your career, we did have the nine 
of sorts here. So the car of stress, of nightmares, the ego talking. That's also been confirmed with, we have the King of Cups here. Okay. So again, the King of Cups is someone of water sign here. I'm talking about Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio too. You may be thinking about, now this could be someone that you may know. It could be your boss, a colleague, someone that's currently keeping you up at night. You're thinking about this person. It's a, this divine male too that can be causing perhaps changes into a business, reducing hours, reducing people too, which is causing quite a bit of hardship, a lot of nightmares too. I'm going to take out another card. You also have the Seven of Swords. This has come out twice. This is a card on its own, stealing, lying, cheating, copying too. Again, um, Virgo, do, like I said before, keep a low profile in your at work at the moment keep a low profile because I don't feel like I don't feel that that there's there's a lot of fake people around you in your current job too it's fakeness there's lots of I feel like there's people with an agenda too absolutely let's have a look here you have here the four of cups here you also have the chariot too this is very very fast moving moving energy too very fast energy so again you may be very you may be receiving news at work where you're going to be working very quickly very perhaps being demanded to do more to do more but you do need to rest though Virgo you do need to rest with the um, seven of swords you also have the three of pentacles yes okay <laughs> definitely keep a low profile Virgo because on its own this is actually a really good card However, though, because this is coupled with the Seven of Swords, this is people working against you. People gossiping, being very strategic behind your back too, Virgo. Yep. Do not reveal anything. I would actually keep people at an arm's length. Because I don't like, I'm going to be honest, I don't like what I'm seeing here. With the seven of swords that's come out twice here people copy stealing ideas again this could be people just stealing your ideas trying to copy what you are doing with your ideas um competitors too so again if you're a business owner you may have other competitors that are trying to steal your ideas too which is not good let's have a look at your finances so you do have judgment you also have the moon so the moon is all about fear of the unknown with your finances being left out in the cold, just being really nervous, really anxious. But you also have judgment. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, to be honest. You also have the high priestess too. You're going to find out about something too. Because the original picture with this, the high priestess has the scroll open here. So you will find out about something. Some form of, yeah, something with your finances, you will be finding out about it too. But what is this tower? Okay. You also have the five of swords. This is a mental card here. A mental card here. Because this is a mental card with the with the tower, it's like saying, this is it. It's over. I'm done. It's completely over. I have no money left. No. No, no, no. Because you also have the four of pentacles. You're keeping your money very close to your chest here. You're afraid of losing money too. If you actually just prioritize your money a bit, Virgo, budget, do what you need to do, the necessary budget, do like a spreadsheet if you have to, it will be okay too. Because with the tower, again, I'm going to take out another card. Yeah, you've also got the nine of swords. You're really, really um, worried here, Virgo. You're really worried about the finances. Again, this could be something like trying to keep up with expenses too. Things breaking down and just being really, really worried too. And I, and I can understand why you're also keeping your money close to your chest here. Because King Midas with the Four of Pentacles, it's also about keeping people at an arm's length, not revealing your next move, which is not a bad thing, Virgo. I think that's not a bad thing at all. You, are, you don't have to reveal everything to everybody. What is your next move? But with the Four of Pentacles, you also have the Two of Pentacles. So this is like the juggling act with your money too. You're juggling expenses, you're juggling buying uh, food, paying rent, a mortgage perhaps, running a business. You're, you're constantly juggling, 
trying to stay your head above water too. But don't worry, you also have the Hierophant. You're going to still commit. You're still going to commit. You're going to get through it though. Virgo, whatever issues or troubles or challenges that you may be experiencing with your money too and any extra expenses, you will get through it, which is not a bad thing. And you also have the Ten. The Ten of Swords here, again, try not to bring in a lot of emotions in the sense of sadness, anger, disappointment too. Because even though I do feel, yes, this is the worst that it's going to get. Virgo, this is the worst. Because this also rolls over to the Ace of Swords. Brand new beginnings too. So this whole juggling act, it will pass. It's going to end. It will take time, yes. But it definitely will pass. You just have to get through it somehow. Just keep it together. Watch where you put your money. Set, set up some form of budget if you can. Some sort of budget. Try to even save $10 here and there if you can. Because I get it. This is highly affected by your career too. With your career, again, I don't feel you have the best people working around you. You may have also competitors trying to steal ideas too. And mainly the money situation may be tough too with unexpected expenses. It's okay. Just keep going, Virgo. Keep going and you will get through this. With love, we did have the Queen of Pentacles, which is you. We also have, excellent, the lovers. Gemini energy. Excellent. So again, for singles, you're, there's definitely love there. You are going to start feeling love, the fulfillment of love, that passion, that flirtiness too. It's like being a teenager again, going on dates too. Feeling that excitement of getting ready, that nervousness too. <clears throat> Second card, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And the card for this is excellent, the Ten of Cups, the happy home life. You're happily ever after. I feel this person that you're going to meet, it's going to get, this person is going to give you a happily ever after. You're going to start feeling really happy, butterflies in your stomach. It's the type of relationship where you can be vulnerable, show your imperfections, your insecurities, and not be judged by it. Because unfortunately, that's what's happening a lot these days with relationships. You go into a relationship and it's just critiques and criticisms. Let's have a look at this king of swords yep we also have the eight of cups i do feel this king of swords he, he this person is going through their own breakup at the moment too this king of sword is experiencing their own um breakup at the moment but i feel this needs to end for this to come absolutely i'm going to take out another card the sun excellent so the sun is also traveling to a hot and sunny place. The sun will lessen the blow of any challenging cards too. It means travel to the return of health also. Now, overall though, with love for singles, I do feel there's going to be some form of love, something that you're going to, you two are going to have to come together. It's like destined. You're meant to meet this person here. And you're going to have your happily ever after with your Ten of Cups here. However, though, with the King of Cups, I do feel like he is currently going through his own separation, divorce. And I feel like once that's over, this, this person is going to meet you. For couples, though, however, for couples with the lovers too, I feel like your relationship is actually going to get a lot stronger. So much stronger. It, it, it's, you're going to have your happily ever after too which is fantastic too. Also with the King of Swords and the, the Cups too, I feel like at the moment there may be some challenges too in a relationship. So if you are with someone and there are some challenges, do not worry. It's going to heal because you also have the sun. You will get through it. In every any relationship, there are challenges. And with those challenges, you find a way to amend, to be best friends again. So I don't see any breakups. I don't see separations here at all. And the challenges, you will get through it. Don't give up on the person too. You will see for yourself that it will work out too. Let's get some angel cards. Let's get some angel cards. Shuffle these cards. Excellent. Okay, last messages for Virgo. One two and 
three. Excellent. So the first card, we have mediumship. You have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. Excellent. So you may be a medium, a tarot reading, and have the power to actually connect with loved ones who have passed on, those who have returned home. Excellent. So you do have quite the gift, Virgo, if it resonates. Second card, we have cut your cords. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. This is highly linked to the Nine of Swords because you did get this twice and the Ten of Swords. Cut any resentment, any, any fears that you're still holding on to, just cut them so you can start moving into the future without any fears. And then we also have Manifestation Power. Use your spiritual gifts and natural ability to attract your desired outcome. This is like similar to the magician too. Virgo, you do have the power to manifest anything because you also have the sun here. Whatever challenges that you go through, do not worry. It's not going to be that bad. You will be able to get through it and find a way to handle your situation with your career and your finances. So overall, it's going to be great. All right. Virgo, thank you so much for joining me in this reading, Virgo. I wish you the absolute best and I'll see you at the next reading. Bye for now.